President Barack Obama says he's keen to renegotiate an arms reduction treaty with Russia. The current Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, or START, will expire in December. And the positive message from Obama is an attempt to reverse years of frustration over arms reduction under the Bush administration. RT's correspondent, Maidina Kochinova, reports. After a little progress for several years, Washington and Moscow seem to be ready for a new start. Washington votes to lead the way and forge better ties. Fresh into office, U.S. President Barack Obama says he's keen to renegotiate an arms reduction treaty with Russia. Uh, I think that it's important for the United States, in concert with Russia, to lead the way on this. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I've mentioned this in conversations with uh, the uh, Russian president, Mr. Medvedev, to let him know that it is important for us uh, to restart uh, this, uh, the conversations about how we can start reducing our nuclear arsenals in an effective way. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has welcomed Obama's initial steps to reduce the nuclear stockpiles. But despite the improvement in tone, Russia warns differences remain. Russia is ready for talks that will keep the regime of non-proliferation and reduce of strategic offensive armament together with defensive armaments, and we are satisfied that the new administration in Washington pays so close attention to this issue. We are ready to keep walking the way of non-proliferation, of course considering all aspects of security of Russia. The number one issue is the current strategic arms reduction treaty. The 1991 Treaty on Strategic Nuclear Weapons expires in December. Both sides have so far failed to agree a new one, and now the clock is ticking. The Obama administration has been promising American foreign policy is set to take a new course. America's new Vice President Joe Biden, during his first major international appearance in Munich last week, spoke in a softer tone towards Russia, keen to reverse what he called a dangerous drift. The Munich conference has been very interesting for us. The discussions switch to Russia all the time, in particular the issue of nuclear non-proliferation that is currently important for the Obama administration. And going clashes with President Bush's government over NATO expansion, the U.S. missile shield in Europe, and most recently the August events in Georgia, took their toll. It's difficult to say right now, uh, but on the surface they are very attractive and very far-reaching, those initiatives, I would say. But at the same time, if you dig a little bit deeper, you will see that technically it will be next to impossible to achieve that far-reaching, uh, far-out goals. Experts are hopeful that there is a new impetus to breathe new life into a transatlantic relations. The chilly winds blowing between Russia and the U.S. in recent years are showing signs of a new warm front. Martina Koshina, RT.